Dale Burris talks about the origins of electrical service in Hatteras Village. Mr. Burris was interviewed by Barbara Garrity Blake in 2004 for the Cape Hatteras National Seashore Ethnohistory Project. The Outer Banks Community Foundation provided funds to digitize the original recording. I don't really remember much about the, uh, of not being electricity. Some, some very limited. That, that's, um, yes, that's, um, um, see, Hatter's Village had uh, electricity long before the rest of the banks did, the rest of the island, uh -huh. because uh, Mr. Dozier's son, Morris Burris, was a professional baseball player. Mm -hmm. and he played for uh, uh, the Yankees, he played for Casey Stegall, that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, he was retired. He came home and started a, um, a fish buying place here. Mm -hmm. But he was the first to make ice. So he, they put in these generators to generate to make the ice where so they the could ship ice, them with. The need for ice is what brought electricity? You're right. And so they made the generators extra large. And then Mr. Herbert Oden was about 14, 15 years old, I guess, at the time. He worked for them. And he would bury the poles, run the line, wire the house, do the okay. whole nine yard. I mean, today yeah. we couldn't imagine this, this kind of kind of stuff. So. And then uh, they charged a certain amount to help offset the generators. I mean, but before we had to co-op, we had an IOU in Hatter's Village, and uh, which is a investor-owned utility. 